There are a number of artistic elements that go into the creation of a fine kilt, but there are two principal design decisions that must be made. First and foremost, the choice of the tartan itself, and second, the choice of pleating. And that's an important decision. And it's usually made in collaboration between the kilt maker and the client. Now, there is a lot more that goes into pleating a kilt than you might imagine. And when you first delve into the world of traditional Scottish kilts, there are two phrases in regard to pleating that you will hear. The first is pleating to the set, and the second is pleating to the stripe. Now, you might naturally assume when you hear those two phrases that there are only two ways to pleat a kilt, one or the other. But nothing is further from the truth. Now, when you pleat a kilt to the set, that's pretty straightforward. I will talk about that in a different video. But when you pleat a kilt to the stripe, depending upon the tartan, you might have a number of different options. Now, here's a caveat. Just because you can pleat a kilt in a number of different ways, it does not mean you should. And that is because there are a couple of goals in pleating a kilt. First, to bring out the personality of the kilt wearer. But second, it is to bring out the best qualities of the tartan. And for some tartans, there are not many options to do that. And in fact, there are tartans where pleating to the set is the only way to go. But when I talk about pleating to the stripe, what is a stripe? Well, a stripe could be any one of a number of vertical elements in the tartan, in the pattern. It could be a narrow line of color. It could be a wide band or block of color. But whichever one is chosen, the pleats on the kilt are arranged so that element usually appears right down the center of each pleat on the back of the kilt. Now, as an example, here is my Angel's Share Tartan Kilt. This is the front apron, so guess what? No pleats. And that's a good point because many people don't realize that kilts are only pleated on the back. But here you can see the variety of vertical elements. There's an ice blue line. There's an indigo band, a brown band or block. There are two narrow yellow lines. There's a thin white line, and there is an amber band. I could have chosen any one of those as the element I wanted to appear on the pleats. But me, <laughs> wanting something a little bit out of the ordinary, I chose not to have the kilt pleated to a single element, but to a line between two elements. In this case, the line between the indigo and the brown bands. So here is the back of the kilt, and this is how it looks. Now, this kilt, by the way, was beautifully sewn by Kathy Hope at Bra Kilts in Edinburgh. And when you take a close look at these pleats and the degree of perfection to which this was executed, knowing that it was hand sewn, you begin to recognize the, the artistry and the skill of the kilt maker and you begin to understand why owning an heirloom garment like this kilt requires a significant investment. Now, in addition to the options I mentioned, I've also seen a kilt pleated to alternating stripes. Now, that is something that cannot be done with every tartan. I've also seen a concealed element, a color that was deliberately hidden inside the pleats so that it was only visible when the kilt moved. My point is just to say, if you are investing in a kilt, take some time and learn all the options before you make a decision. And you know what? The best kilt makers will be happy to help you do so. In fact, they might be excited to explore something new and different. And of course, when they get your tartan, they will pin it up in a variety of configurations so that you can see what it looks like even before sewing begins. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell so you will be notified when I upload new content. Also, follow me on Instagram, AZ Kilted Realtor. Thank you so much for watching another episode of The Kilted Closet. Take care. Cheers.